Hi, you're watching This Brand Geek, and today we're diving deep into my comprehensive experience with Community Fibre, the broadband provider that's revolutionizing internet speeds here in the UK. From my initial switch from Virgin Media, watch my Virgin Media video, to overcoming installation hurdles and assessing their customer service, I've got a lot to share including a speed test to show you just what this service can do. This video is not sponsored by Community Fiber and they have no idea that I'm making this video. I do have a way for you to get £100 in Amazon vouchers though, so let's just get into it. When I signed up to Community Fiber, I was enticed by the allure of a 3 gigabit per second connection, a speed that's virtually unheard of here in the UK. My journey began with a small hiccup. Instead of providing a technical router capable of handling 3 gigabits per second speeds, I was initially set up with a Linksys router that maxed out at 1 gigabits per second. I'm told that this was because they didn't have enough technical routers in stock and it took about 3 weeks but Community Fiber corrected this with the installation of the correct router, unlocking the blazing fast internet speed that I was promised. The reliability of Community Fiber has been insane. Since making the switch, I've experienced absolutely no downtime. I've been with them since July last year and the service hasn't gone down a single time in 8 months. A night and day difference from my previous experiences with Virgin Media, where their network would go down once or twice a week. To fully leverage this ultra fast internet, I upgraded my home network with switches supporting a 10 gigabits per second backhaul with 2.5 gigabits per second ports, ensuring that I could actually take advantage of the speed I was paying for. Affiliate links will be included in the description for the network switches that I'm using. Now, let's talk about installation and the customer service experience, which wasn't as smooth as the internet speed itself. Recommending Community Fiber to my parents exposed some flaws in their process. They left Virgin Media too, by the way. Their installation was handled by Kenny, a contractor working on behalf of Community Fiber, who missed the initial appointment. This was not just inconvenient, but frustrating, as I wasted an entire day waiting for them to show up. When they finally arrived for the rescheduled appointment a week later, it was too late in the day leading to another cancellation because they couldn't climb the pole in the dark, a logistical oversight that should have been anticipated. It makes no sense and it's insane that they arrange appointments for a new installation in the dark when they know full well that they won't be able to climb the pole to install the fibre drop cable in the dark. It's just wasting everyone's time. The guys who installed my community fibre actually worked for community fibre and they did an amazing job. I feel that Kelly's are really letting Community Fiber down and Community Fiber should perhaps reconsider using them going forward. I personally have experience with Kelly's as I worked for BT and OpenReach for almost two decades and even though I won't say too much, I will say that if I were Community Fiber, I wouldn't be using Kelly's. Another thing I'll say is that this video is sponsored by Pro Acoustics. Pro Acoustics make amazing acoustic foam. As you can see behind me, we have acoustic foam. We have acoustic foam on the ceiling. We have acoustic bass traps in the corners. It is fantastic. There's no echo in here anymore, and I haven't even finished putting all of the foam on the walls. It sounds so much better than it used to, and I am filming a review and like a how-to guide and a before and after, so before foam, after foam, echo, no echo, that sort of thing. Pro Acoustics have been really good. If you work from home and you have Zoom, calls or teams meetings and your audio sucks and it's embarrassing because you have lots of sound reflection off your wall give pro acoustics a call or go on their website in the description below and tell them i sent you and get yourself some acoustic foam it's really easy to put up on the ceiling or the walls you just stick it on literally stick it on and it's very simple if i have a discount code that will be in the video description as well pro acoustics are awesome have a look they're, they're really good I'm not just saying that. I was going to buy their stuff even before they sponsored these videos. So really good. I'm not joking. Go, go click it. Welcome back. My expertise in fiber access network planning made me hyper aware to another issue during my parents' installation. The fiber cable from the pole to the house was pulled too tight, risking future connectivity issues. Despite my concerns, the engineer, Kelly's, dismissed them, leaving me worried about the long-term reliability of their connection. Yes, this can be an issue due to pull on pole and other factors which I won't get into. The fact is, the fiber cable should not be pulled so tight, leaving no slack. It's just a recipe for a failure down the line. I also recommended community fiber to a friend of mine and his experience mirrored the same frustrations. Missed appointments, unfulfilled promises, especially regarding the phone line transfer, which remained unsolved for over a month. He's had to call customer service repeatedly, and when they say they're gonna sort something out, it still remains unresolved. So he calls again, and they act like they have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, and again, the contractor working on his installation was Kelly's. And again, they missed two appointments, 
and also arranged appointments in the dark at times where they couldn't carry out the installation. He took time off work to be home just for them to miss their appointments and not show up. They also downgraded the Linksys routers they provide going from the AX4200 to the AX5400. Most people wouldn't notice the difference, especially if you're hardwiring extra nodes in the mesh network. But it is still worth mentioning that they seem to have made this downgrade. Despite these service hiccups, the value and performance of Community Fiber is undeniable. A significant saving compared to what I paid Virgin Media for much slower speeds. I used to pay Virgin Media £65 per month for 1 gigabits per second down and 150 megabits per second up, compared to £49 per month with Community Fiber for 3 gigabits per second download and upload. This incredible performance has revolutionized how I upload content. It used to take over 7 hours for me to upload a video in 1080p a few years ago. And now I upload 4K videos within about 40 seconds. As you can see, the speeds speak for themselves. It's this level of performance that sets Community Fiber apart, despite the challenges in customer service and installation. Also, you might be saying, hey, that's about 2,500 megabits per second, not 3,000. Well, yes, like I said, my network switches have a 10 gigabits per second backhaul, but the ports are 2.5 gigabits per second. I can get the full 3 gigabits per second speed when I run two speed tests simultaneously on separate switches. I have tested this and I am receiving the full 3 gigabits per second. You can also check out the Open Signal report, I'll put a link in the description, which shows that Community Fiber really is the fastest in the UK. And it's also in first place for broadband consistency consistent quality and I can vouch for that. In conclusion, if you're after unparalleled speed and competitive pricing, Community Fiber is a strong contender. However, be prepared for potential bumps in the road regarding installation and customer support. I really think that they're just growing too fast to be able to handle this level of growth. If someone at Community Fiber is watching, I seriously recommend that you increase the numbers working in customer service, hire and quickly train more people for installations instead of using Kelly's, or at the very least get on top of Kelly's because they're destroying your reputation. And as a newish ISP, you really can't afford to let this happen. And finally, you need to get a move on and create a customer portal on your website so everything doesn't have to be done via a phone call or via email. So are you considering making the switch? If you are, then you can use my referral link in the video description to get a £100 Amazon voucher when you sign up. And I'll get one too. It's win-win. And finally, if you want to share your experiences or have any questions, feel free to sound off in the comments. I really do reply to every comment. If this deep dive into Community Fiber was helpful, please hit like and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. You've been watching This Brand Geek. I'll catch you in the next one.